Hi everyone, it's Ray with Tarot Living. So this is another installment of my Tarot Talks on the go. So today we're going to talk about how come tarot works anyway? So a lot of people must sit around and wonder, you know, how is it that people can pull cards and it actually has meaning and it seems to reflect something important that um, the practitioner or the, the reader wants to tell that client. So I've got a few ideas about why tarot works. I'm just going to give you a few of my thoughts. Um, there's many books who, uh, many books that will actually touch upon it at the beginnings of their books, and so these are just a kind of a compilation of a few different ideas, I would say. So the first thing we have to understand is that tarot is is like this very complex uh, array of 78 cards that include many many archetypal images and symbolism uh, that really represents um, human experience and it really it can lay out basically for us many different circumstances many different feelings many different archetypes that we carry with us many energy patterns that we have and so it can become a, an array and a mosaic of human experience so that's how I look at tarot why tarot works so I think there's a few different theories so first of all you can just consider uh, tarot to really be uh, a modality and a tool that um, spirit or our guides are utilizing you know through the work of our hands as we're shuffling and as you know the reader is reading they might be giving messages uh, in order to pass you know for the reader to pass those messages along so many people might look at tarot as being really a tool that the divine uses in order to uh, you know pass along messages and I think definitely there's an element of that that I I completely agree with um, I actually do a combination of astrology tarot and um, kind of intuitive or, or psychic uh, reading while I kind of mix it all together actually and so I think the piece where I'm doing the intuitive and psychic piece of the readings and when that is happening I think I would consider the divine information to be coming through most strongly during that those moments. For the actual tarot itself, another way of looking at tarot is that um, the individual who comes to you, you know, the client who comes to you basically has an energy pattern, a vibrational pattern that they are bringing to the table at any given moment. So I've got a client coming tomorrow, for example. So that client is coming to the table, literally my table, um, and they are bringing their energy pattern with them and their vibrational pattern. So two things are happening really for me. I'm not only reading their vibrational pattern and their energy pattern, but that vibrational pattern that they have is influencing the way they shuffle, the way they choose the cards, and basically the cards almost become like a physical manifestation of that energy pattern. And so as the spread is laid out, it's almost like a mirror of the vibrational pattern and the energy pattern that they're actually carrying at any given moment. So that's certainly one of the ways that I think about it. There are other people who consider it to be more of a psychological tool and that tarot will stimulate the unconscious and through that stimulation, archetypal images and symbolism will come through the tarot and then information can be relayed to the person that has meaning for them so that they can work on you know any blocks that they have work on any gifts that they have and that kind of thing and so some people might look at it as a more psychological approach I think I look at it in all ways I think there's a little bit of everything that I just said potentially in the way that tarot works um, I certainly feel very strongly that about the energy pattern piece which I went on quite a long time about so as you can see I can really relate to that piece of it um, I also think it's important to remember that um, for me this is my viewpoint I don't think that there's one set um, destiny you know someone comes to the table and I'm doing tarot for them I don't feel like their destiny is you know th their final final destiny is laid out and I'm gonna tell them what their final destiny is I think there were co-creators and I think that through free will we can make a decision that may change at any moment that energy pattern that we're carrying in our vibrational level 
and basically we're manifesting whatever it is that we're vibrating whatever level we're vibrating at that's how the law of attraction works so if we choose to change our vibrational pattern and our energy pattern it is actually going to uh, therefore change potentially anything that might happen down the road so when someone comes to me for a tarot reading one of the things that I always say is that nothing is set in stone your destiny is not set in stone that I am going to read and I'm going to read it off word by word and this is going to be your destiny I'm basically reading your current vibrational pattern at this moment what you're bringing to the table right now and that's the beauty of tarot is that if we see any blocks if we see the path that that person is currently on and they're saying well that's not kind of where I want to be going then the beauty of it is that we can say or not me I shouldn't say we the client can say to themselves um, you know I think I need to tweak something I think I need to adjust maybe the way I'm perceiving something the way I'm um, you know manifesting something in my life in order to create something different for myself so I think that's really the beauty of tarot um, and all, and many modalities you know astrology is the same way um, you know astrology I can tell you what your transits are for the upcoming year um, how those play out are going to be unique to an individual first of all and secondly, it, if I tell you about something in advance, then that gives you greater perspective, greater awareness, and greater, greater knowledge. And so I always say it's like you have a one-up. You have a little bit of information of what could be coming up. Um, and that may, in itself, adjust the way that you're working with that particular uh, transit or energy that might be happening in your life. So I think things are, you know, movable, they're malleable, and I think our free will and our, you know, ability to co-create and manifest and be the magician in our own lives uh, is really powerful. So those are some of my thoughts about how tarot works. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Have a great day. Take care.